Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about my perfume collection. Now I know my channel is mainly about, you know, makeup related beauty and stuff like that, but I figured, hey, I have quite a collection of perfumes and I wanted to share them. So without further ado, let's get started. First off, I have my perfumes on kind of a little tray like this. I got it at a uh, thrift store and I think it's it's just so cute. I'll take all the perfumes off of here so you can see it better. This is what I keep all of my perfumes on on a daily basis. It's just kind of like a mirrored bottom with some lacy kind of antique looking stuff around it. First I'm going to start by my ultimate favorite perfume. This is Versace Bright Crystal and as you can see I've used half of it and I'm actually really bummed. I will be looking up all of the notes for you guys if you're interested. This is definitely a daytime perfume. This smells uplifting. It smells citrusy. It smells a little bit of floral. I just think this is such a versatile scent and it can be worn really for any occasion. This is my ultimate favorite scent and my boyfriend loves this scent. My second favorite perfume has to be the Madagascan Vanilla Flower from The Body Shop. If you like vanilla and coconut, you're absolutely gonna love this perfume. I just love the packaging. It's so cute. It has little flowers on the back. This is more or less my safety blanket. If I'm wearing this, I feel grounded. I just wear it so much that this is kind of what brings me home whenever I'm feeling super anxious or whatever's going on. I just love this fragrance. It's really calming. It's really soothing to me. Next, I have Daisy from Marc Jacobs. This is the You So Fresh one. I love the cap. Let's just put that out there. This is probably the most floral daytime scent I have. It can be really overpowering really quickly. It just smells like you're running through a meadow of flowers. That's kind of what it smells like. So if you don't like super florally scents, then don't get this. But I definitely like this more than the original Daisy. And so I actually got this for a birthday present one year. I haven't used very much of it because a little goes a long way. Next we have Forever Dream Angels by Victoria's Secret. I used to get all of my fragrances from Victoria's Secret back in the day. And I think that this smells really good. This smells warm and sophisticated. So if you like those kinds of scents, I would definitely go for this. I don't know if it's still available. I've had this for a really, really long time. But I just think it has the right amount of warmth and upliftingness to the scents. I think that it's really pretty and it tends to last on my skin all day long. So I really like this. I probably wouldn't repurchase it though. The next scent that I've had forever is the American Eagle Live Original. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. This is more of a citrusy type of scent. Again, I've had this for a long time. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. This just used to be my go-to scent back in the day when I was like in middle school, high school. This is what I would wear. So I think I keep it around just more for memories more than anything, but it definitely is more of a citrusy smell if you like that. And the reason why I liked buying from stores versus actual like perfume stores like Sephora is because they were so much cheaper and I just like the smells better. So, so the rest of my scents are pretty much warm from here on out. This is Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture and I haven't used this all that much. I thought I was going to use more of it. This is more of a warm woodsy scent and I love the scent but I find that it doesn't last super long on my skin. For some reason it just kind of fades throughout the day and I like something to last but not be super, super potent on my skin. Like I would like it to be subtle but throughout the day. So I really like this for the smell but I wish it stayed on my skin a little longer. But I keep it because I really like the smell. <laughs> Next I have this Forbidden Perfume again from Victoria's Secret. I got this as a Christmas present. It's it's a mix of citrus and warm night out kind of fragrance. It's definitely something that I wear like on a date. I think if you like more mature fragrances, this is definitely something that you would like. Again, got it from Victoria's Secret because it was really cheap, but it does a really good job at staying on my skin and I think it smells so good. Victoria's Secret has a quite a good range of perfumes, by the way. And when we're talking about it, this is another one for Victoria's Secret. This is You So Sexy. This is my favorite Victoria's Secret perfume. This is more citrusy, more uplifting, but again, it kind of carries a more sexy, sophisticated at the 
tail end. I really like this perfume. I tend to wear it again on date nights out. The good thing about Victoria's Secret also is if you don't want perfumes but you like the scent, they do have body mists like in that style. So just a heads up if you like any of the fragrances, get the body mists because they're a lot cheaper. Next we have this Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance. This is one of my favorite fragrances to wear on a date. Oh, it smells so good. It smells woodsy and warm and kind of like inviting if I can describe it anyway. This is invigorating and inviting. That's the only way I can describe it, but it is definitely more of a warm scent. The next scent I have is La Veille Es Belle from Lancome and I actually just bought this. That's why there's like none used. And this is a legit perfume. Some of them that I have, I can spray multiple Multiple times because they're just kind of like a toilet and they're not as fragrant but this you be so careful because you can douse yourself in this in one spray this smells woodsy and warm and just kind of I like warm scents just because they're inviting and they feel like home and like I like citrusy scents sometimes but for the most part I am a warm scent kind of person as long as it's not like too spicy or woodsy. This is just sophisticated. It smells a little bit like it has some floral in it. It has a little bit of warmth. This is a really really popular fragrance um, at Sephora so if you can find it. I actually got it in this kit. Sorry if I'm horrible at describing these but be very very careful when you're spraying this because it's so easy to overdo it. Lastly I have probably my most daring fragrance. This is the Marc Jacobs Decadence. And first off, I love the packaging. It's like a little purse. This smells like berries. This smells like an enchanted forest filled with berries. That's all I can use to describe this. It's really interesting. If you like daring scents, I would go for this. I definitely like the smell of it, but my mom is not a huge fan of it. If you like more daring kind of out there scents, then this is definitely a good one for that. I really enjoy it, but again, you can go over the top way too easy, but I like it. It's it's very different. That is all the fragrances I have to show you. I think I have about 10 or 11 different perfumes. No one needs that many perfumes, but for me, I'm a person that attaches memory to a scent. I I'm not going to get rid of this perfume simply because it reminds me of a certain memory. This Madagascan vanilla flower re reminds me of when Chris and I started dating because I used to wear this all the time around him. I have some perfumes that take me back to the day in high school. I have some that just kind of remind me of a very uplifting, happy, like exciting celebratory day. Comment and tell me like what some of your favorite fragrances are. I love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel today. We are going to do a tutorial on this look that I have on right now. This is very mermaid, very teal, a very summer-esque look and I think it's a really fun pop of color and it includes the new Jeffree